Hey guys, Justin here. Quick note, this race guide will not have an actual race in it because I'm out of town. It'll be like the farmer's guide again where I do a long run live and talk about it on my way through it. But other than that, if you could leave a like on this video, I'd really appreciate it and let's get right to the lap. All right, let's take a look at that. So out of all the ones that I've done, this is the one I wish I was in town for, but I am not. So I think this is a good lap, but I could be a little bit off, but we'll see. So for the run up here, be careful staying by the wall too long, because if you stay by the wall too long, you actually won't even get much speed off the corner. You can make a pretty straight line off the corner if you even get off the wall like a third of the way through. So we wanna turn off the wall fairly early here. So you see, where do I turn down? Yeah, right, oops, sorry. Turn down right about the subway sign. Get off the gas and then go full-ish gas. Then try to get as much throttle for as long as possible and then you just build up a ton of speed. If I were to stay by that wall the entire time, I would have had to Ross Chastain it to keep up that amount of speed. So anyways, we get to the start finish line and going into one, I went for a, a weird approach I didn't think would work. So I have two different approaches for the corner here. This, you can see it because of the relative. Like I was six hundredths behind at this point. And so I have two different lines that end up being pretty equal and I don't particularly know which one is better for qualifying. The first one is getting to the bottom right away and the second one is kind of arcing it into the corner a little more. The bottom, you can shave off a bit of time, and if you have really good braking, so you see I go for about half brake, drag it by the time I get to the bottom, I'm modulating it because it's Martinsville and we're braking to all heck. But here's the big thing for both lines. You do want to time your brake and your throttle to be exactly back to back. There's only one singular frame here where I'm not on the brake or the gas. And that is because we're using the brake in this situation to get rotation. I have 66% brake right now. You might want to go lower, but I didn't feel much comfortable any lower. I could not do 63 for qualifying. So at this, you're still getting the car to rotate with the brake, which means that you want all of the rotation you can get. So if you're coasting, not throttling, and not braking, you're neither speeding up nor rotating with the brake. So basically it is uh, the worst of both worlds to just coast. So if you can see here, break, 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 break. And then finally we go straight to gas. And now I hit the curb here. I don't, I don't know how this was my fastest lap. If I didn't hit the curb here, that's probably a few hundredths faster, but the curb didn't really disturb me too much. It really didn't. I guess it was fine. Like if you look at the angle, it didn't really do much. So I don't know, maybe you can use the curb as a little fail safe. You can't go over it too hard. You can just go up right against it and nudge it. I don't know, I mean, it's always better not to hit the curb in my opinion, but we were able to get a decent run off the corner because I got to the bottom and then because I got straight on the gas really early, I was able to partial throttle it all the way along the curb and then just kind of get to full really early and get off the corner. It gets a little loose here, as you can see, but uh, it was pretty manageable. So anyways, three and four, uh, these corners are kind of the same, a little different, uh, a little different feel, but honestly, I approach them pretty much the same. So here as well, I get to the curb and just try to wrap around the curb with my brake. That's kind of the best way to put it, how we're doing it here. So I get to the curb, just brake, 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 and then there's a moment in time where you'll feel the car want to go up to the wall under braking, and then find this one moment, the car will snap in a way, and it'll say, okay, now I want to go down. We've slowed the car up enough to where I want to go down the hill now. And that moment where the car wants to go down the hill, that's when you put throttle into it. So you see, I was very quick to put throttle into it once I felt the car going down. Because what does the, putting the throttle in the car do? Well, putting throttle in the car straightens the car out. 
So if you time it perfectly, you can break all the way down to the curb and then right before you hit the curb, you throttle up to, to just barely stay off of it. We can look at that from the beginning again. So braking, 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 and then once the car wants to go to the bottom, we stick the throttle to get the car off the curb. And then suddenly it's sliding back up the track. A little loose, but that's okay. And that's a, I think that's a good lap at Martinsville. My, the short track guys will probably be a little faster than me, but I think this is a good starting point for you guys. So anyways, let's go to the long run. All right, well, let's do a long run. So I'm fully expecting to have to turn down my brake bias at some point, but I'm not sure when. Let's see, let's try on my let's see. I'll try to go for like 30 laps plus. So what I noticed about this track is that you can really get on the gas coming off the corner. Might have to look back at it a little bit if it feels like it's going to get tight. So like I dink the wall there, but it's fine. That's not damage. I'm not really sure what's going to save tires over not saving tires here. Maybe I'll feel it when the tires start wearing off. Maybe I do need to go lower brake bias for the center of the corner. Let's try it to 63 real quick. Yeah, I think I, I'm already down at 63. I think I like that. Just not pushing it too hard, not going too late into the braking zone. I'm trying to turn with the brake more than the gas. Oh, sorry. With the, with the wheel. Trying as much rotation as possible under the corner, but sometimes the angle doesn't work out all that well. I'm trying to arc it in just a little bit. Because these arcade cars are a lot more momentum based than a lot of the other cars here are. Let's see, that didn't do anything to the car either, thankfully. It's kind of fast, which is kind of funny. Point zero seven two. Getting tight off the corner is going to be a bit of an issue. Really just waiting an extra tick of a second to get back on the throttle. Make sure that the car is pointed all the way down when I can get back on the throttle. Seems like I'm back a good time. Highly recommend low brake bias for the race. I might even try out 60 in the here in a little bit. So I started at 63. In fact, let's go for it. 19.857 Alright, uh, he's a little distracted there. Feel me rear sliding? No, I don't think so. Yeah, I think 60 is good. If the rear stepping on mid-corner, it actually might be a little too low. I've been feeling it a little bit. can't tell for sure, though. I think it's still fine. Point one zero nine. Hmm. I'm going to be faster. Oops. Huh. It's faster. Alright, so I guess we want to enter more middle. I'm going to use the brake to turn. Huh. Twenty 
I'm gonna try going down to the very bottom again. Oh, no, that's too much of a that's too little low break bias for that to work. Huh. This break bias might be a little too low. The lower your brake bias is, the more you cannot overdrive the corner because you're not going to be able to use your brakes to slow down as efficiently. It'll just spin you out instead. I'm turning three too deep. That was too deep too. Alright, tires are wearing off a little bit, so I have to adjust my line a little bit. The more slippy slidey the outside gets, the better the inside is going to be for a long term line. And by outside, I mean like a wider arc. I think we're back in some sort of groove. Earlier break, we transition to here. Oops. Didn't cost us too much, apparently. We got like 13 laps to go before we can check. Just earlier braking now. Not quite as aggressive as at the beginning. And hopefully we're strung out by now to where you're not going to get run over by anyone, hopefully. You see, I could sail it in pretty comfortably, deep, but I just get killed on exit because I can't get back on the throttle or break the brake any harder. We're pretty consistent in our lap times. Even on the laps where I feel a little slidey, it's not really slowing the car down much, which is a little curious. Oops. 
<laughs> I hit the curb. I was like, can I drive out of this after hitting the curb? Uh, not really. Tires are a little hot now. that grass. <laughs> I'm starting to lose the rears a little bit actually, which is kind of interesting. It's kind of a theme in the arc car to wear the rear tire every once in a while more than the right front. This will really hurt exit because in the early run you can go full throttle on the exit just because the rears hook up. Maybe a slightly bigger arc. And what that'll do is it'll open up the angle a little bit so that you don't have to keep the wheels jacked off the corner. Kind of like this. Yeah, that kind of felt good. A little wider angle here. Turn the car down the track. Yeah. Hmm, it's a little sketchy. Six or twenty three? I think it was twenty six. Fifty six. Overdrove that. Yeah, it's starting to get a little sketchy now. I've been trying to experiment with how late I can brake, and uh, that's not a very good experiment. The answer is go earlier. <laughs> I kind of been going off the rev limiter, but now we're getting to the point in the run where you do not want to be going off the rev limiter. Alright, I need to get a couple good more good laps to figure out where I am. Just the earlier breaking, like I said, now I'm actually finally practicing it. That was a little too early breaking. Oops. Yeah, we're getting a little loose on exit now. it there because I felt like it was going to get loose on me. Alright, a couple more here. Trying to set a good example. Uh oh. That was fine. That was surprising. I did not expect that to turn out fine. I think a 20.2 at this point in the run is probably pretty good. Doesn't feel like too much fall off. It drives more sketchy, but the lap times aren't really falling off. Alright, last lap will undo it. Uh, 
Yeah, we can run 20.2s here all day long now that I know the line. I jinxed myself. <laughs> Alrighty, let's take a look at the tire wear. I have a feeling the rear is going to be pretty worn. 93, 94, okay, not bad. Pretty even here. So, I think the line itself doesn't matter too much. What really matters is your braking and uh, your throttling towards the end of the run. So your braking, you want to back it up as the run goes on just so that you don't slide your tires on entry. And then after you get to a lap 20-ish, 25-ish, your rears will finally start losing grip on exit. So that's when you have to start being pretty smooth with the throttle. Before then, I don't think you need to be that smooth with the throttle because your car is already so slow at that point that you're not really using much wheel. I don't, and I think that the right front wear is pretty even if you just do it kind of normally. If you need to save right front for whatever reason, then definitely be smoother than I was being. But I think for what we were doing, uh, it is pretty good right here. So anyways, that was 30, oh, sorry, 40. That was a little, no. Oh. I did more laps than I thought I did. 43 laps. So pretty long run there. We were able to stay around the 20.2s at the end. So pretty good. Uh, there's very little tire fall off and it's going to be just execution tests. So good to see. I kind of like that. But that might mean that there's going to be more wrecking. Uh, so anyways, uh, good luck with your races, guys. I won't be able to race this week. I really wanted to race this one after saying that Martinsville was one of my least favorite tracks because without cautions, I think it could be kind of fun. But uh, maybe next time. All right. Thanks all for watching. I hope you all have a wonderful day. And I hope to see you all on the track.